ตาแนนเฮ้ย so we are brewing outdoors again and today We are. I'm gonna show you the recipe that I used for the Primal Brew Kapangan Benguet beans, right? So, Primal Brew actually messaged me a couple of weeks ago, and then they sent me their coffee for me to try. Um, I have tried it. I've been busy the last couple of weeks, so I haven't made a video. But today we are doing it. So I'm showing you my recipe, and I'm gonna teach you how to do it. So if you have this coffee at home. You will be able to do it as well. It's kind of hot today. All right, then we're gonna do our stove. So it's the same stove that I've been using for my bike and brew. Um, this is the BRZ 3000. Um, it's a really, it's a really cheap. Stove that you can get on the internet. I forgot how much mine costs, but yeah, it's very cheap. Okay, in in Amazon, it is one of the um, cheapest cheapest um, portable stove to get for when you are biking. Okay, the water that I'm using is still um, mineralized by Calibrate, so yeah, it's still the same. Um, water okay and then we're gonna start boiling this water before we start preparing our coffee i think i'm gonna have to do it the other way around right so i'm still using the hario coffee scale the very small coffee scale. We're gonna use a Comandante today. We are brewing 13 grams of coffee and then we're gonna do 23 clicks on the Comandante. So we're still gonna use the cup of the AeroPress as our server. So we're gonna prepare the dripper that I chose to bring today. This is the Hario Suriren, but I just brought with me six ribs. So in order for me to keep it as, as portable as possible, I just brought half of the ribs of the Suriren and it's going to work just fine. All right, so let's open this and then let's assemble the Suriren. So here is the attachment base. So we're gonna put it here and then the opposite side. Okay, so we just skip one slot per ribs. Right, and then we attach it with we attach it to the um, base itself. And now we have a fully functioning Hario Suiren. The paper that I have right here is an Abaca Plus. It's a Kafek Abaca Plus paper. So it should go, um, it should work in tandem with the Hario Suiren. It's gonna be perfect because we have. Okay, let me just turn this off for now. Okay, so why did I choose to use a Kafek Abaca Plus? Right. So the Kafek Abaca Plus is a slow drawdown paper. The reason that I use this is because we have a very ah, we have a medium coarse grind size. By having a slow drawdown paper and um, dripper, we can actually produce more acidity with the coffee. Yeah, we can actually produce more acidity from the coffee. Because we have a coarse grind size, yet there is going to be a bit of an immersion because of the slow drawdown of the paper and the dripper. So it's gonna be a great. It should we should get a great balance of acidity and sweetness out of this brew. We're gonna have to wait a little bit more before we can start brewing this coffee. Um, while we're waiting, let me just. 
um, get rid of the tape the upside down table yeah because it's funny well I, I i only used it to protect the wood from the open fire right now we are at 91 so for the first pour we're gonna do again twice of the coffee ground so maybe around 30 ml there and then let it breathe shake it a little and then let it breathe let it release all those um, carbon dioxide okay now at 45 seconds we're gonna pour 80 ml to be at around 110 ml make sure when you do your second pour that you release all the gases you need to be able to disturb the bed completely so you will be able to release all the gases from within and then at 130 we're gonna pour 50 ml but this time you need to pour slowly okay to reach 170 ml okay and then at two, fifth, 2 minutes and 15 seconds we're gonna pour the last remaining 30 ml to complete the 200 ml water All right shake it at the last bit wow you can actually um get the smell of that um iconic benguet smell the very sweet nuts sweet sweet peanuts yeah for a lot of people who thought the suiren might not be as portable as because it looks really big it is a very big um dripper it's actually a size 0 to um, v60 but the power of the Horyo Suiren is its ability to collapse. So you can actually remove all the ribs and collapse it, put it into a smaller container. So, well, in my case, I just used the original um, packaging, which fits here. And then you simply assemble it when you get to your destination, right? Okay, so let's try the... Primal Brew Kapangan Benguet. It's a, it has a very um, sweet start. And the acidity actually lingers. It's the, it's the finish. The finish has a bright acidity. Yeah, very, um, very citrusy. It's like you're, it's like you're drinking like a lemonade or a dalandan juice or calamansi juice, something like that. And then the, at the aftertaste, that's when you get that um, juicy aftertaste. Um, that's when you get the citrusy aftertaste. But right in front, it's very sweet. I really like it. It's very sweet right in front of the coffee. Uh, as, as soon as the coffee touches your mouth your your tongue it has a very sweet um, experience and then when you swallow it then you will get the citrusy aftertaste and then eventually it evolves you get this um, caramelly nuts yeah like sweet peanuts let's look at the tasting notes that they put on the packaging so it says here that it is the landan mixed berries orange peel yes orange peel and honey i'm not so sure maybe maybe brown sugar or caramel sugar but i'm not getting that um honey taste orange peel definitely and the dalandan yes mixed berries not so much it has a different it has a different for me eh, for this brew it has a different um type of acidity it's very citrusy not not fruity like not berry like it's very citrusy the aftertaste is wow that's it's crazy if you have this specific coffee the kapangan benguet from primal brew 
the recipe that we just made today is 23 clicks on the Comandante, 13 grams to 200 ml of water, and my water mineral is um, Calibrate. It is around 70 ppm. I used a Hario Suiren, but definitely you can use like a normal V60 for this. And then my water temperature is 91. So you do your first pour 30 ml and then wait for 45 seconds. And then the second pour do 80 ml to um, 110 to 120. Um, it doesn't matter that much. Um, about that range, 110 to 120 is your second pour, your finish. And then your third pour should be at around 170, maybe 50 ml or 60 ml more. So you end up at 170. And then your fourth, fourth and final pour um, is 30 ml. So all of the different pours um, is separated by 45 seconds, right? So you pour and then you wait for 45 seconds and then you do your second pour and then you wait for 45 seconds again and then you do your third pour and then wait for 45 seconds again and, and then you do your fourth and final pour and then you're done. Um, if you want to try their coffee, um, this is... This is Kapangan Benguet from Primal Brew Coffee and Roastery. You can get this coffee from their store or you can also go to their Shopee page, Facebook page, and Instagram. Right? For now, thank you so much for watching. In the next videos, I'm going to show you more about coffee. Bye!